Welcome to the most played game in the world. It's League of Legends. Ball, ball, ball. So you may notice that this um, is a series I'd actually already started two episodes on years back, years back. And if you look at those episodes, you'll see why I'm doing this again. Basically, the game has 100% evolved since then, and I figured it was time to update it. And it's a lot easier to up uh, to rank up nowadays. So first thing I'll go ahead and say about League is if you can't install it, I'm not going to add that to the tutorial because hopefully you know how to install programs. Um, and once you do install it, all you have to do is choose a name for your in-game, you know. Um, your username and your summoner name are different. So pick one that's not stupid, or maybe it's stupid, I don't really care what you name yourself. But once you do that, I wanted to go ahead and let y'all play through the tutorial matches first. So there's three tutorial matches. I think it's worth playing through those. They're, they set a bit of unrealistic expectations, but they also give you some decent hints here and there of how to play, and I don't want to really corrupt what could be a pure learning experience from something else. I want to supplement that learning experience with some of my own stuff. So let's go ahead and break down the client. I think that's going to be episode one is going to be the client. So when I'm in here, it starts me out, and it's like this is, I think, your early level page it'll show and yeah you know, I can go to overview and this shows me all the whatever's going on in Riot's world. You can get free Amazon Prime stuff, whatever. Um patch notes, you know, to see what's changed in the game recently. The first thing you want to check, you know, whenever you log in, is you'll see that I have these missions now and they're the little scroll down here. So I go to the missions and I can see get 20 kills, gives me XP, I can get Lux for just playing a game, and that's all I can get from there. These are TFT things, and I'm not going to be remotely discussing TFT. It should be its own game, frankly. So you'll notice we're in an event. We need to go ahead and begin that event. That way I can actually get the rewards from this. So just make sure to check occasionally. There may be events, and they give you some pretty cool stuff. So let's go ahead and check um, other things we have. Uh, we have the loot tab. So occasionally when you play games, you'll get, uh, when you level up every level, you'll get a capsule that gives you champion shards you can buy. So you can get your uh, character unlocks that way. You can get skins for those characters and build them. Just a bunch of different things you can get from here. This is your loot area. And then we have the store. And you can buy champions. You can buy other things for real world money, but for... Purpose of this account, I'm just going to be paying for champions. No point in paying for anything else. And you'll notice we can see, you know, up down here are the cheap champions. Um, I'm not going to buy anybody right now just yet. I'm going to play with uh, one of my champions first. So that's, uh, that's the shop right there. Really not much else to that. I'm not going to go over anything. Um, we have the profile section where you can see, you know, kind of your overview. So you start out at honor level two, which is interesting. I didn't realize that. Get your match history, which will just show tutorial gameplay. Uh, rank stats, which you won't have to worry about until level 30. Uh, clubs, if you're in a club, which they aren't point, they don't have a point, so I'm not going to talk about them. Stats, which is somewhat cool, but not very useful. I would recommend third party applications for that. Um, and collections really where things start to happen. So if you go to collections, champions will show all the champions you own. So I own one champion, Ari, because it gives you one from level... Uh, to get to level three, you unlock one champion. And I chose Ari because I will be teaching the mid lane. That is my role. I will teach other lanes as well, but primarily I'll be going over mid lane. Um, skins, I don't own any skins. Emotes, I don't own any emotes. I don't really care. Spells, you start out at level 3 with only he healing ghost, so um, I'll explain these in game. I'm not going to be talking about summoner spells today. Items, so these are item sets that you can make. Essentially, if you don't know off the top of your head what items to get in a game, like, hey, I'm down this or I'm up this many kills, I need to get this or that, this is kind of where you want to be spending your time and putting in work. Um... Item sets can help you have your own preset build path based off maybe pro players or really high level players, or maybe just builds like this and guides on YouTube, who knows. And it helps you kind of have a more rigid path and know what to do in certain scenarios. And we'll get over, we'll go over that in a bit. 
icons aren't important, wards aren't important, and chromas are not important. These are all cosmetic things and have no impact on the game. Last but not least, we'll go over the play button. So in play, you have three modes. You have PvP, which is against other players. Uh, you have co-op, which is against uh, AI. It's like bots. They're super easy. And then you have training, which is you can either do the tutorials again, or you can do a practice tool, which is kind of like experimenting with different damage builds and things. It's not completely fleshed out yet, but it's pretty cool. So PvP I could go ahead and do, but I don't really plan on doing it with only one champion. Um, we'll probably start out with the bot games. You also have uh, in PvE, you have the main map, which we'll be going over next video. You have ARAM, which is just a very small middle like it's got one row and it's super small, super chaotic. Uh, there's random game modes that interchange in and out. And then there's TFT, which I will not be going over. So for the next, what you can expect in the next video is going to be playing against bots. It's going to be maybe, probably I'm going to start out with just the video for the basics. I might go over, um, the next video may actually be key bindings. I may go over key bindings before I get to um gameplay but definitely one of the next two videos will be gameplay and we'll be going over kind of what to do when you're just playing good spots so thank you for watching i hope you learned a little bit from this just got a basic feel for the client uh we'll be going over this again it's not level one to rank one it's fortunately it's like level three to rank one and i won't be hitting rank one ever don't even know if i'll hit level 30 on this account but i'll try i'll try so thank you so much for watching and y'all have a great rest of your day